marijuana basically, uh, so endo, so we have our cannab cannabinoids that we make are in our own body, but there are plant-based uh, products uh, that also hit those same receptors. So those are phyto or plant-based cannabinoids. And marijuana is one of them. And there's many cannabinoids uh, in the marijuana plant. The two main ones are THC and CBD. THC is the thing that makes you high or makes you sleepy. It's also very good for anxiety, uh, very good for appetite, very good for sleep. CBD does not make you high or sleepy, um, uh, but can also be good uh, for uh, anxiety. It's a very good for inflammation. It actually is an appetite suppressant. So what's interesting is some, some of the factors of both THC and CBD are similar. Some of them are opposite. So it's interesting how they work together. Now, one of the questions I get a lot because CBD is all over the place is what's the deep difference between CBD and medical marijuana? So marijuana has both CBD and THC. They're cannabinoids. Uh, there's other cannabinoids in the plant. Uh, again, it's legal medically in 33 or, and now more states than DC. It's also legal recreationally in a few states. And you can get lots of different versions of THC and CBD, and we'll talk about the different agents. CBD alone has medicinal properties, though. Uh, usually, if a teeny bit of THC is there, it helps it work better. But you can use CBD alone. And there's another plant called hemp. And hemp is very similar to the marijuana plant, except it has almost no THC. And because it has almost no THC, it is legal everywhere in the United States. Uh, because it's legal in everywhere in the United States, hemp-based CBD is a lot easier to get and a lot less expensive than marijuana-based CBD. So they're both basically the same, but one is a lot cheaper and a lot easier to get. Now, the problem with hemp-based CBD is not regulated by the FDA. So you have to be really, really careful about what you get. Uh, no one's really checking you know, on the purity and making sure that the CBD that you get is, is good. The companies have to do it on their own without any obligation to do so. So you can buy this stuff now online. You can buy it in the gas station. You can buy it at uh, Bed Bath & Beyond now sells it. But a lot of these products that you see in some of these places are not quite good um, because, again, no one's really regulating it. You, you can't find good, high-quality CBD in CVS or GNC because it's not yet regulated by the FDA, and so the bigger uh, boxes don't want to sell it. So most of the good stuff is online. Um, there's a lot of things that you have to look for for good, high-quality CBD. The most important thing is that it's uh, verified by a third party. Uh, I use, uh, in my office, CBD Distillery, but there are a couple of other good products. 